In this video lesson, we will learn about a few special properties of midpoints of a triangle. So first of all, quick reminder, the midpoint of a line segment is just the point in the very middle. That is the one that splits it into two equal portions. So a triangle, something with three sides, has three midpoints. And say we have triangle ABC. And let's just look at the midpoints of AB and BC. I'll label them as D and E. And then this, what we call a mid-segment, the line joining the midpoints, has several properties. First of all, it is parallel to the base. So DE is parallel to AC. And another property is that the length of DE is exactly half the length of AC. So it is half the length of the side that it is parallel to. Which is also the third side of the triangle that we didn't take the midpoint from. So now let's apply this principle to a few examples. Problem one, we are looking for AC. So we don't know AC so we will label it as x. So now the properties of midpoints tells us that x over 2 is equal to 4. So we just solve for x and we get 8. And note this is because the length of DE, the mid-segment, is exactly half the length of AC, which is the base. So that was an easy problem. Now in this problem, we're trying to find the perimeter of triangle ABC. So this looks like it might be hard, but it's actually not that bad. Oh, and of course, E, F, and D are midpoints of their respective sides. So first, let's look at side length AB. Let's see if we can calculate what AB is. So if AB is X, then x over 2 equals, and the mid-segment parallel to AB is the one with length 7. So x over 2 is equal to 7. So x equals 14, or in other words, side length AB is equal to 14. So yes, there's a lot of numbers and there's a lot of lines, but if we pick out the pairs of parallel lines, then it actually turns out not to be that bad. So now we'll look at BC. EF is the mid-segment running parallel to it. So EF is the length of BC over 2. And then we just solve and we get that BC is equal to 12. And finally, we only have side AC left. So we'll label CA equals Z. And this side, Z, has Z over 2 equals to 8, because 8 is the mid-segment corresponding to AC. So we solve, we just multiply by 2, we get Z equals 16. So now it's really easy to find the perimeter, because we just add up the three side lengths of the triangle. We have 14, 12, and 16. So we add them and we get perimeter P equals 14 plus 12 plus 16. And when we add these, we just get 42. And that's the answer to the problem. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the third example. Triangle ABC has area 24. If D, E, F are the midpoints of A, B, B, C, and C, A, then what is the area of triangle D, E, F? So, of course, first we want a drawing. So let's say this is triangle A, B, C. And I'm going to label A, B, C. And then we have the midpoints D, E, F. D is for A, B. E is for B, C. And F is the midpoint of CA. So here I have the midpoint, 
and what we really want is the area of this triangle that I just drew. And we're going to use an important property of the mid-segment. The mid-segment is equal to half the length of the corresponding base, but also the corresponding base is split into halves by the midpoint. So we get these triplets of equal sides that I'm labeling. So each mid-segment is equal to each half of the corresponding base. But what this tells us really is that we end up with four equal triangles. In other words, if I take this one small triangle and label its sides with lengths A, B, and C, then because we know that the similar ticks are equal length, so I can label each one tick with length A, each two tick with length B, each three tick with length C. And then we can see that all four triangles inside of the big one have side lengths A, B, and C. So in other words, they're all the same triangle, just shifted around, rotated, and put together conveniently. So if we split our large triangle into four equal ones, and one of them is DEF, the one we're trying to find the area of, then the area of DEF will be one-fourth the area of ABC. So we can write this down. Area of DEF equals one-fourth the area of ABC. And the area of ABC is what we know. It's 24. So I get the area we're looking for is 24 over 4, and that is just 6. So that solves the problem. Well, thank you for watching this video. I hope it helped.